Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. And today we're looking at how to uninstall a vast free antivirus. I ran into a problem recently on installing this off of a computer in my house. And imagine my surprise when I reboot and the whole stinking thing is still there. So it's bad enough a vast has to try and hit you with a secure browser twice. Get you on the reward program and all the other crap they got going on. But they can't uninstall themselves properly. But they have a utility called a vast clear that might help. So if you need to uninstall it, you may consider Revo Uninstaller, IOBit Uninstaller. One of the popular uninstallers may help. It didn't work for me, so maybe somebody at IOBit and Revo can take a look into why they weren't unable to uninstall. It looks like you need to get into safe mode. So I'll send a link to the article. You want to get a vast clear, double click it. It's portable. You don't have to uninstall it. And it's going to take a look and see what you've got, and it will offer to run you into safe mode, of course. You can reboot into safe mode before you run the tool if you want, but I was feeling a little lazy, so I figured I would just let it do the job for me. So once it comes back out, everything stops. Now nothing from Avast is running. It should completely remove it. I usually check for the folders when I'm completed, but that's up to you and how thoroughly you want to clean it. So we'll give this a second to reboot. All right, we've rebooted, and this is what came up. Actually, I was gone for like 10 minutes. There's a New York State Fair in town. I'm sitting here looking at the uh, pictures of all the food, and i got to go back. I was there last night and eat more food. Anyway, uh, da, 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 da. so you might want to take note where Avast is installed, program files, program data, because you might want to check it later. So let's uh, check your version in case you don't have free, you have one of the pro versions, and click Uninstall. If we look down here, as you can see, Avast isn't running, which makes uninstalling it simpler. So this should do the job for you. And we'll give this just a couple minutes to run through. If that, looks like it's pretty quick. And we'll reboot and make sure it's gone. <laughs> see, there's your problem. You got all these drivers that you see here that were running. So when you try and uninstall it from regular mode, it seems most software can get it done. Don't know why, uh, why Avast has got me going through all this. So we shall... Pause for a second and be back when the Windows boots back up. All right, so we are back. That is gone, and as should happen, Windows Defender is now taking over the computer unless you're installing a different antivirus. So what we want to look at now, I may have, you may remember, I told you to keep an eye out for program files and look for a VAS program files x86. Look for a VAS. I got it out pretty good. Uh, I prefer to use this over just uninstalling, no matter what. Now, it also mentioned program data, which is hidden, as you can see by the color of the folder. See how it's lightly colored? So if you run into trouble and you don't see program data, click on your view right here. As you can see, you have hidden items. So now program data is gone, just to make sure you can see it. Show hidden items, there it is. And guess what? You missed a folder. There's browser, nothing in it. Not bad. Uh, just your, any license information if you had to share, where, which you might want to keep in case you go back if you're using the advanced versions, not the free version. So let's now take a look quickly. For example, that should be most of that. Let's do Windows R, Windows key plus R, and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Hit enter. This is kind of overkill, but just to give you an idea, we'll come up to here and do edit find or control F. And as you can see, if you type in a vast, you're probably going to find a couple of keys. There's some right there. Again, it might be a registry, might be holding your files. Blah, blah, blah. That went well. Might be keeping your registration information if you weren't using the free version. There we go. F3 will continue the search. So there's the first one we found. And then this will stop if it finds anything else. So I'm not quite sure why Avast doesn't have the Avast Clear utility built into the uninstaller. Or more importantly, why doesn't it just uninstall like everybody else? So this is a big problem with Windows machines and you in install a program and then you remove it. The next thing you know, you're loaded up with registry entry files, folders, startup. Here's more here. So I don't know how many more there are that have the Avast key in it, but it's still not complete. This is one of the reasons we prefer to use portable software we can, but that doesn't usually work. So there's another one there, there. See what I mean? So there's more Avast. That might be back to the top now, but you get the point. So the bottom line is, after five minutes of a video, if you want to uninstall a VAS, go to safe mode and or 
download a vast clear, let it boot to safe mode for you, and remove it that way. Uh, you shouldn't have to, but here we are. As always, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. See you next time.